So hi everyone, I'm here with Flusha from Team Fnatic. You just won your quarterfinal quite easily versus Gambit. We're gonna come back on that after. But first of all, everyone know that one of your teammates, Olaf Master, one of the best players in the world, uh, had a ser serious injuries and you had to play without him uh, for uh, quite a long time and now he's back. How did you manage to, to deal with that as a team when he, when he was not there? Um, it was really hard. Like, uh, we had to make a lot of uh, changes. Like, uh, some of us who didn't take initiative before had to do that more. Like me, I, I was not really anti-fragging before. But then when Olaf was back, or um, when Olaf was away, I had to do that some. And then uh, now when he's back, I can just go back to my lurking role and play more defensively. Uh, but now when he's back, we just have so much more confidence, so we we can do whatever we want. Yeah, we saw that in your game uh, in your game here. But after, before the events, everyone was wondering, are they going to be the Fnatic we all know? Are, are all of going to be uh, the same players? Did you did you have some fears uh, about that? Did you uh, sometimes wondering, hey, maybe we're not going to have that level again? Uh, yeah, definitely. We we lacked a lot of confidence when we got here. Like at the first match versus Face, we didn't have any confidence at all. But then we gained everything uh, in the match versus G2, and now we are we feel like we're gonna win this. Of course, Face was a big disappointing for you, but G2 was a really tough game, and uh, <laughs> it, it it was really hard. We we heard you when you uh, we shakes and everyone was kind of kind of released. And then you move on to the quarterfinal. You play Gambit Gaming. Uh, some people said it was the easier team you can had in this quarter. Did you had this? Uh, did you feel that? Yeah, definitely. Like we felt like Gambit was. It didn't feel like a major quarterfinal. Like they didn't give us any. Any. Uh, yeah, there was like no problem at all for us. We could do whatever we wanted. We didn't really have to call to win. I don't know. It, it didn't feel like good match to play. Yeah, it was the fastest quarterfinal today, and uh, it was quite easy for you, as you said. Now tomorrow you're gonna have to play a semi-final versus quite another team. It's gonna be uh, maybe like your first real test. Yeah, but like. We feel confident right now. We, we all know we're better individually than them, and I think we're just gonna go in with so much confidence and just smash them, really. Well, <laughs> we'll see that tomorrow. Maybe one question about the tournament. Uh, you went here last year. You're here this year. So far, what do you think about the two events? Do you prefer Corn last year or Corn this year? Uh, since this day, it wasn't full. Uh, full of people in the stadium, so yeah. we'll see tomorrow. I, c I can't answer that f uh, question right now. No. Okay. <laughs> okay, of course, we'll see tomorrow. Um, well, uh, I'm going to ask you a last, last question. Uh, after this tournament, uh, what's uh, the future of Natik? Now that Olaf is back, you're going to have to, uh, I guess, uh, going back in the competition uh, a lot and hard training. Uh, what's, your, what's your planning for the next month? Um, right now, it's... After we get uh, back from this event, I think it's like one or two, two days off. Yeah. Then we play like a week until uh, we fly out to E-League in Atlanta. And after that tournament, we have like two or three weeks break. So it's going to be a nice with some holiday and just get time off Counter-Strike. You heard about the E-League and SK. Did you have uh, an advice about that? Uh, it's, not my, it's not my problem. I'm not going to go into it. <laughs> Okay, well, I'll let you, I'll let you go, go to bed. You had quite a good game today. I wish you good luck for the rest of the tournament, and I hope so far to see you tomorrow uh, on the stage. Bye. Thanks, you.